Okay, so I think most people are familiar with the idea of a CRUD application. That means create, read, update, and delete. It's a little app like a contacts app or an um, inventory app that lets you type in fields. And here, for example, I can type in some dummy data. This lets us type in some fields where we put a name and address, a phone, um, maybe some notes about the contact, and save it to a data store. In this case, we're saving this data to a little file, contacts file. Um, it lets you bring it back up. And if you want to edit something, for example, you can edit and save it again. And um, this this particular app sorts the uh, sorts the records by uh, alphabetical order. And you can delete records if you want to select one. Delete. Pretty typical kind of gen generic computer data storage app. That's what CRUD apps are. Um, and uh, in most CRUD apps, you'll see some sort of GUI interface or some sort of data input interface that lets you put in fields. In this case, we have a couple of text fields and a little text area for larger blocks of text. Um, this one always also has a little button that lets you look at the raw data file. And um, each one of those collections of fields forms a record. So we have a record for John Smith and a record for Tom Jones. And that particular app was created with this little GUI builder. And what this lets you do is build these types of CRUD apps. Uh, so say for example we want to create a parts database, an inventory database, and we want to add a, an item field. And uh, let's say we want to put a description for the items in. Uh, and we'll use an area widget for that, the default size. And maybe we want to put an SKU uh, field in there. So we can input SKU and we'll create that app. And that's what this little program does. It creates these CRUD applications. So you can see we have an item, uh, a description area. It's this set of number of pixels and an SKU area. And so let's say we'll call this widget one. Let's just type this information in, type in a description. An SKU number, and then we can save it. And this particular application builder lets you uh, press, press the some of these, these keys like Control S will do the same thing as save, and Control N will do the same thing as new. The delete key on the keyboard will delete the record that you're currently on. So let's here we'll create a new one. Let's create a little dummy application, a little dummy bit of data, and save it. And if we want to bring that back up. Can look through these again. They're sorted in alphabetical order. Delete if you want. Look at the raw data file if you want. And so these can these things can be useful for storing any sort of regular data. And then you can extend the application because what this does is it builds. You can see you can run one of these existing applications. In this case, it was created that parts application. That's just um, a rebel program that's sitting uh, in that. Uh, place on the hard drive. You can edit that with um, any text editor or any, whatever you use to edit your Rebel, Rebel code. So that's the code that was created. If you want to add to it, you can add to the GUI down here, create your own functions up here, do whatever else you want. This gives you a nice good head start on building these sort of CRUD applications that store fields and, and uh, records to a, in this case, to a file. And uh, all you really need to do if you want to run this is Go to rebel.com, click on the downloads, click on the view version of Rebel, and you can download the version that runs on your operating system. You can see the Windows version is 0.8 megs, 800K, the tiny downloads in about a second. Um, run that, install it. We have also versions for Mac and Linux and other operating systems. There are older versions for a ton of other operating systems. Uh, there's also versions for Android. A little bit different version for Android, but basically the same language. And uh, then if you want to take your app, you can run the CRUD Builder once you have Rebel installed. If you want to take your app and move that to another machine, all you need to do is bring your Rebel View installer and uh, your app and the data file, and that brings the entire uh, application to another operating system. You can move this cross-platform between Mac, Windows, Linux, um, and even if you want to email the entire little database system to a, another, the entire CRUD application to a, 
uh, a friend. You could email them all of the Rebel interpreters for every operating system and your app in an email. It's that small. So a nice way to build quick, simple apps that you can extend in any way you want.